I always feel like somebody's watching me and I have no privacy. Oh, my watch list over at finance.yahoo.com. Checking the board, checking the tickers, seeing what's happening. Let's see here. Oh, look at AMD. AMD Advanced Micro Devices up nearly 10%. We got a credit spread on with them. That was under pressure at the beginning of the day. Uh -huh, I see. Caterpillar is currently pressuring my 20750 put strike price. So we'll have to consider that. We'll keep an eye on that. So far, so good, though, if you're looking at it is only two hours remaining in trading today on Thursday and tomorrow is expiration Friday. We've got a position and a bunch of shares of Walgreens. Target, I don't know if I have a position on them currently or not. I wouldn't mind putting one on though if I don't. Target, write that down Bart because you'll forget. Okay, Target, might put another Caterpillar. I put another bit of action on Caterpillar for next week. If I don't already have, I might have a position there also. Johnson & Johnson, we've got a 165 call, so we'll just let that ride out into the sunset and then sell that covered call again when Johnson & Johnson is in the green. Starbucks, we've got a 104. I think it's a 104 slash 102 credit spread. So it is turned around a bit on us, which is good. That is nice, very nice. Costco, I think we have a 482.50, and it's kind of gotten flat. It was had some pressure on us early today, so the market has come off its session lows a bit. That Coca-Cola $63 call needs to be rolled. Verizon, we've got a 14 contracts at $38 on a covered call, so that's looking good for us. For that to expire at full profit. Blackstone, we just we just uh sold to close the long leg of our credit spread and we rolled the short leg out, putting an extra five hundred plus dollars in our pocket. We've got an Exxon Mobil for next week that we might manage now to see if we can't collect a bunch of money. I think we got a one twelve. So that thing is deep down in my whiskey right there. Okay, so let's go to, let's take check SPY first. So SPY at 406.12, S&P is down 0.37, Dow down 0.77, NASDAQ 0.11, Russell down over one percentage point, and crude oil is down again today as well. Now, it doesn't make sense for crude oil to keep going down. It just doesn't. We're undersupplied. OPEC said, not so fast. We're going to slow down production. So it doesn't It doesn't make any sense. So crude oil is going to go back up next week. Where's that magic eight ball? It's sitting next to the broken crystal ball that you have over in the corner. So let's take a look at the big board over on the, over on the Robin Hood. Is there any value left in that 79 long leg, daddy long leg? Apparently. So it'd probably be about a penny if I wanted to sell it. So I'd get five bucks. I may as well just leave that bomb shelter in place because right now that $81 strike's looking really nice. Really good. In fact, you can close it now for 15 bucks. I would imagine it would cost. You'd have to do the oh th the three cents if you wanted to close it now right so fifteen dollars i think we collected 115 yeah so that'd be good i mean there's nothing wrong with that well it's 15 bucks and you know you like to have 15 more dollars than not so we'll let it ride for now cvs we might oh, there's that's a big risk but we might take that risk anyways let's look at this and see if we can do the same Brian Smith management style that we just did on Blackstone on CVS, another company that we have no problem owning, but can we make dollars instead of losing dollars? Because right now it's trading at 
seven or trading at 6838. So we're taking gas. If we wanted to close it right now, it'd be a billion dollars. <laughs> it'd be one billion dollars to close it. We'd probably have to do you know, whatever in that range to close it. So that would be fourteen hundred and fifty dollars to close it. We only collected three sixty, which you know that's a nice bit of change, but it is on ten contracts. So if we uh -huh, if we went to the sixty eight dollar long, we can get about I don't know twenty eight twenty nine cents. Can we get twenty nine? So be $290 bills. And then we would remove though that safety net from the trade and it would have put that 70 into action. It would activate our dental plan at $70, but we could roll that right now, even just out a week, collect some more dollars and then give CVS some breathing room to make a recovery back up over 70. Let's take a look at CVS as far as what it has done year to date. Why? to the T to the D year to date on CVS. Currently down 2.37% today after being down yesterday as well. So it's at, it's at year lows. Hello. And I like CVS. I like it like that. I like it like that. I'm, a, I'm, I'm willing to take that risk. You know, at the end of the day, worst case scenario becomes I take possession at some point at $70 or so, right? And I have $70,000 into a company that I know what they do, and I think they do it pretty well, and they pay a 3.33% dividend yield. Even if you took possession and then sold covered calls indefinitely, you'd probably have a, you know, you can boost that up to about a 10% annual return as long as the stock doesn't get too far underwater, which you hope it would not. So let's look at the CVS and just see what that action would be. Right now it's saying 29 would be a low likelihood. I see what you're saying there. What about 27? So $270 to sell to close those 10 contracts. Then they'll have to shuffle $68,000 to the side as collateral. There's that 68 grand, right? 68,000, but we put $270 in our pocket and that's just getting the party started. So if we get the party started at $270, how can we continue that party with the short leg by rolling that out even one week? <sighs> This is no longer the case, but let's click through it. One of those should have disappeared. Did it close or not? <laughs> did you close? I think you did. There it is. Okay, now it's caught up. So there's our 270 we just collected. There's the 360 we collected on April 21st when we put the trade on. Doesn't seem like it was that long ago. I thought it or yeah, I thought it was like last week. Anyways, so if we click through the $70 strikes that we have on the table now expiring tomorrow, what can we what can we roll that? How can we roll that? It keeps the computer slow. That a Robin Hood is or both. It could be both. Yes, it could. Okay, let's click back through to the CVS. Let's Check out the position here. It's currently acting a little funny. Probably my internet, that's fine. We will give it a second. We'll give it a, just a second while we check back through and see what's happening here. 40604 on the spy. We did close one of our call credit spread positions out in the previous video. We only have one open right now. And that is like a, what is that? A 425 or a 430? Where, oh, where, there it is. It's a 425. Currently over 70% in full profit. 
like to get that to that $100 mark. Four twenty-five, pretty pretty safe right now on the spy. On the spy with our eye, yes indeed. Let's go back up and see if we can roll this yet. It's not a, it's not showing us our roll button yet, is it? Mm hmm. Yeah, it's still acting a little strange on us. It's acting a little strange. That's okay. We'll let it do. There it is. Okay, now it has appeared. Thank you, Robin Hood, for your generous patience with my internet, or I was generously waiting, awaiting you. If we rolled it one week, okay, so it's set to expire tomorrow. If we rolled it out just one week, eight days, we need to cover that 164 debit if we rolled it at 70, which is, you know, what we were willing to take possession of it at anyways, but if we rolled it out a week starting today, we can get around $350 to do so. Let's see what it would be. What would we do? Third to two. Do you hear third to three? How about 34? 35. So let's try for the $350 to roll that. It may or may not go through. We shall find out. Cash secured put roll. Okay. Did it send it to the pending board or did it fill? Because it, it looks like it filled. What's my phone say? Notification is CVS order executed. So we got that going for us, don't we? We do, we have that going for us. So we collected $350, $350. So essentially we have 70,000. $70,000. Sorry, I'm trying to read a text, text at the same time. You know I can't do two things at once. So. We got 70,000 in collateral from the CVS and then we just collected. In fact, what was our, what, let's go back to it. Let's go back and see what the three amigos. So we had our original call credit spread or uh, put credit spread that we collected how much? $360, okay? So we collected 360, 360. 350 plus 270 plus 360 equals 980. 80 divided by 70,000. Okay. That's 1.4%. And let's see here. Let's use April 21st through next Friday. So that'd be nine days and 12, 21. Is that the number we want? Divided by 21. Annualized. So right now we're, we're looking at a 24.3% in factoring all of the credits and all of the time, dating it all the way back to April 21st. So not a bad little move right there. And it's again, it's on an asset, it's on an underline, it's on a stock a company that we would be willing to own at 70 bucks. And that's essentially what we are looking to do. But if we don't, if we just keep kicking that premium filled can down the road week by week or every other week collecting premium, then we will do so. So there's that. I think I hear the lady she just texted me and said she's waiting for the Amazon truck to get out of the driveway because the power washer guy is here too with his truck. And so she's waiting for the Amazon truck to get out of the driveway, probably delivering her some more shiny shoes or bedazzled clothing. So I'll go grab my Starbucks and get back to looking at the board in just a moment. So thanks for viewing. Subscribe, like, comment, share. See you in the next video.